Hi my beautiful royals and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Empress M and today I'm here with a Twin Flame Collective reading. Thank you so much for being here my returning subscribers, the beautiful royal family. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you who've seen the channel for the first time, please do stick around if you're called to do so. That will mean so much to me to have you subscribe here. So I hope that everybody is well. I hope that everybody is blessed at this time. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to read some tarot and only take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that doesn't because this will be a collective reading. So thank you, Spirit Guides. What can I channel for my collective to you know about the connection that it has and what do we need to know at this time? So we have the five of swords in the reverse. I just want to pull three more before two more, sorry, before I start channeling. We've got the High Priestess, we've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Two of Wands, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Within the Five of Swords in the reverse and the High Priestess, I feel like this person is no longer overthinking. They are no longer in this energy of self-sabotaging because they don't understand what's going on. I think with the High Priestess being here, I feel like they are finally beginning to see the depth of this connection they're finally beginning to see the truth of the connection but because we've got the high priestess here what spirit is saying is that this person is not showing this to you right now but you will start feeling a shift in your energy because we do have the five here within the five of swords meaning change so they are making changes behind the scenes is what i'm hearing why? Because with the Three of Cups here, they are wanting a reunion with you. They are wanting to celebrate with you. They are wanting to have good times with you. I said previously the Two of Wands, but actually it's the Nine of Wands. So I feel like this person's been in planning mode. No longer wanting to be in this wounded warrior energy. Saying that, yes, I've gone through a lot. I know where, I'm co I, know where I come from. But I also know where I want to go. I want to go towards building a beautiful future with my person here for the three of materials, for the three of um, pentacles. So they're saying I'm no longer wanting to self-sabotage because I've, got, I've gotten hurt in the past. I want to focus on the good things that this connection brings. I want to reunite with my person. I want to build with, with them. You may um, be seeing, um, you may be seeing, 33 a combination of three 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 at this time is what i'm picking up so what else can i say now what else is going on with this person so those are the opening images so let's see what else can i show now what's going on with this person so we've got the star we've got the fool and we've got the five of pentacles so within the star here they see you as shining really bright at this time they see you as somebody special they see you as somebody magical again with the star and the high priestess being here they are realizing the depth of the connection okay there may be a pisces and aquarius connection here so those are the two major arcana standing out for me and then they also have the full year so i definitely see your person wanting to take a leap of faith wanting to have this new beginning with you because they're giving me that song by um rihanna which says um when the sun shines we shine together so they're wanting the two of you to shine together why because without you they just feel lost they just feel sad they just feel alone here with, within the five of materials which is the five of pentacles they are really missing you they feel like they are on the outskirts of your amazing life because they see you shining here as the star. So they're wanting to take a leap of faith here because they're realizing that it's time for them to trust the divine. It's time for them to trust their gut instincts with the high priestess here. So what they're saying to me is that they are doing all this. this the, they are, so what they're saying to me is that they are doing all this behind the scenes work that you may not be seeing because they are wanting to make sure that when they come they're able to offer you something amazing with the two of you can start working on building something together 
because right now they're feeling left out in the cold and the reason why they are feeling left out in the cold is because they realize that they should have been trusting their instinct all the time instead of listening to everybody else instead of listening to the self-talk in this week so what else can i say about that on this person so we have the ace of cups so i can pick up a card here so within the ace of cups here i see a person wanting this new beginning wanting to let you know that they really do love you and if anything that they were showing you looked like the opposite of that it's because they were hurt in the past because they are this wounded warrior but they're realizing that they need to stop making excuses for the past they need to stop saying that yes i have abandonment issues yes i've been hurt before yes so many people walked out on me spirit is saying to them we acknowledge that you've gone through all of that but right now, we are presenting you this amazing opportunity. We are presenting you this unconditional love. So what are you going to do about it? So they are deciding that, and it is being me clear that they are going to take a leap of faith towards it, no matter how much it scares them. Because they don't want to be in this energy where they are living on the outskirts of your life, okay? So let's see what I'm going to say in the first time. We've got the six of um, pentacles, so he's part same material, <laughs> so that's why it's difficult for me to channel like that. So we've got the, the, the muse of materials, which is the king of pentacles, and we've got the six of materials, which is the six of pentacles. So your person is wanting to give back to you. They are wanting to be somebody that can be that solid force in your life. They don't want to be in this energy of the five of materials with the five of pentacles. They're wanting to be able to give equally back to you. They don't want to, they don't, thank you so much. They, they don't want to be in this energy where they are pouring from an empty cup because that is why they haven't been able to give fully to you. But now they are filling up their own cup because they are realizing their self-worth. They're realizing that they are not what happened to them in the past. They're realizing that it's time to start healing. And now they're busy filling up their own cup. And of course they're busy filling up their own cup. They are able to give to you and they are able to give to you equally. And they're saying to you that it's not just, I'm not just going to show you that I love you because yes, love is beautiful, but somebody must also show you that they can be there for you. So your person is saying to you within the King of Pentacles, I actually want to be there for you. Yes, I do love you, but I don't just want it to be lip service. Thank you so much. I don't want it to just be lip service anymore. I actually want to show you how much I love you. And therefore, I want to bowl with you again as you saw with the three of materials. So, where the two of you are able to work together on something, the two of you maybe share the same passion, you know, you're wanting to create something in the community. Your person is thinking about that. So, let's see what else I'm going to swords here your person is putting down the sword they are taking time to relax and this image is ladies laying in a bubble bath here with rose petals so they are giving themselves time to just relax to stop stressing so much to stop fixating so much on what happened in the past they're actually wanting to relax so what i'm hearing is i'm actually wanting to relax into this connection I actually want to focus on the beautiful aspects of this connection because if I don't do that then I just feel all alone then I just feel sad then I just feel left out in the cold because it looks to me like my person is out here shining bright living their best life seeing the magic in life and what am I doing I'm wallowing in sadness and I'm keeping myself stuck to the past so they don't want to do that anymore so let's see what else can I channel yeah, because here with the Ten of Materials, the Ten of Pentacles, they're wanting this happily ever after with you. They're wanting this fulfillment on all levels. One reader taught me that your person goes from the Five of Materials to the Ten of Materials, the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Materials. So they are saying, I don't want to be 
I don't want to be in this imagery of being in the five of five things because I want to be in the ten of materials because within the five of materials I feel empty, I feel alone. I want to be with my person because they see you as their family, whether you guys are wanting to create a family or wanting to create a family with, with dogs, whatever you want to do. They see you as family and they are realizing on some deep level that the two of you are so family and this is why they're feeling so alone without you. Okay, let's see what else can I channel. And with the four of with the four of pentacles here, they are holding on to this. They are holding on to this idea of wanting to be with you. They are holding on to this vision for the happily ever after that they see with you. Because they realize that by holding on to the past, so they realize that by them keeping their feelings to themselves, not wanting to open up because they scared that you may walk out on them, you may abandon them. So they realize by not being open with you, not being transparent with you, not showing you how they truly feel, you ended up just carrying on and doing your own thing, which is a good thing. But from their ego perspective, they're seeing you as you've moved on, you've left them out in the cold. And therefore they're realizing that, okay, my person has now moved on, they're wanting to do their own thing, so maybe it's time for me to open up their, maybe it's time for me to open up my heart so they are holding on to you for dear life because they are so scared of losing you because what i'm picking up here with the energy of the high priestess remember the high priestess she's a badass bitch okay so you could have said to them because in this image she has like a hand up so you could have said to them i'm actually going to stand in my own power i can see through the facade i can see through your walls i can see why you don't want to open up to me and until you actually open up to me, I'm going to be doing my own thing. And this is, now they're seeing that you're shining, they're seeing you living your best life. So now they're being scared that you may actually leave them behind. But with the Queen of Cups here, they're realizing that you have been through all of this. You have been so loving. For some of you, you never moved on. You, you never... You never showed them that you can find somebody better than them. You decided to work on yourself and you skipped being that beautiful, empathetic, loving person towards them. You still showed them how much you loved them, even though the two of you were apart. And how does the Divine Feminine do that? It's by opening up her heart to the Divine Masculine and letting them know, if you're not able to let them know in the physical, letting them know in the 5D that I love you and they see this within you. And this is why they're wanting to become this amazing stand-up guy, but the divine masculine to be a male or a female. But they're saying they're wanting to become the stand-up guy for you because that's what you deserve, because they realize you're worth here. So let's see what else can I show you. One more card and then I'm going to tune into what are the intentions. Because with the sun and the page of wands here they're realizing that you make them happy you inspire them you inspire them to create magic in their life because of how you love your life because of your warmth because of how bright you shine you make this person so so happy and by them not being with you they have felt alone they've had this longing they felt cold they felt like they didn't have a place in the world is what i'm hearing because if you could see the spread that i have here the five of pentacles is in, at, at the center of everything. So what they're saying to me is that my behavior towards my person, towards my divine feminine, the center at the center of at the center of all of that is my lack mentality, is my fear of abandonment, is my fear of not being good enough for my divine feminine. I've been missing them so much. But because I couldn't deal with the idea of losing somebody as amazing as them, I've kept myself away from them. But it warns me all the time and I realize that I need to be with this person. Their guys is constantly giving them downloads about you, so they aren't able to run away from this connection anymore. So thank you, Spirit Guides. But can I channel what are their intentions, please? What is this person's 
intention towards my collector. This is so beautiful. We've got the chariot, which is about forward movement, which is about them getting balanced out, getting out of the darkness, and actually wanting to come into the light, actually wanting to come forward to you where there's a distance, they're wanting to travel you, and with the energy of the magician right next to that, they are wanting to manifest. So the intention is to keep manifesting this love because the events that have happened has put them in this energy of being in this two of wands energy where they are wanting to plan now. So they are planning to come forward. They are planning to come towards you. This is the two for some of you travel. They're wanting to come towards you and they are busy manifesting this. That's why I just feel like from this reading, I just feel like this person is doing a lot of behind the scenes work. So you may not be seeing this at the at this time, but what Spirit is saying is to, to you, um, to you, um, Divine Feminine or my collective, you are the high priestess. You can see the beers a mile away. So you know that this person is busy with something because they've been showing you signs because you've been connecting with their higher self. So don't worry about what it looks like in the 3D. This person is doing a lot of behind the scenes work to be with you. So let's see what is the potential outcome. What can I channel? What is the potential outcome, please? We've got the Queen of Inspiration, which is the Queen of Wands. We've got the Muse of Voices, which is the King of Swords. They are willing to fight for you. They are willing to fight for you. Because with the Queen of Inspiration, the Queen of Wands being here with the Five of Inspiration, they are realizing that there is a lot of competition. They are going to have to bring their A game if they want to be with you. And with the Muse of Voices, the King of Swords here, they are willing to fight for you. They are willing to stand up for your honor. They are willing to say like, okay, 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 now I know. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. You have a lot of potential suitors. You have this. And even if you don't want these people, you're still loving your best life. You're still showing me that you don't need me. So for this reason, I'm actually going to start being honest. I'm actually going to open up my mouth and I'm actually going to say to you, yes, I want to be with you. I'm going to be out of my head and I'm going to tell you that I love you. Whether that makes logical sense to me or not. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm also going to be cutting out the people that have kept me stuck in this energy because remember there's always people wanting your person to be in this energy because there's a reason why your person um, has been overthinking there's a reason why they come out as a wounded warrior because there's people that have tried to knock away at your person's self-worth so that your person is also cutting out these people in their life and standing up for you they're giving me this song i heard it yesterday it's called the glory of love by chicago or peter Segura. It says, I'm the man who will fight for your honor. I'm the hero you've been dreaming of. Gonna live forever. Maybe together. We did it all. Maybe together we did it all for the glory of love. So your person is saying to you, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to make this happen. Yes, because at the bottom of the deck, we've got the eight of emotions, which is the eight of cups. So they are walking away from those people. And behind this woman, there's like this black hole that looks like a void. I'm using the Muses Tarot, by the way. There's this black hole that looks like a void. And this person is saying, I'm going to walk away from the things that I've been using to fill this void. And actually, the person that I was missing was you. The, the feeling of emptiness, the feeling of missing you, the feeling of loneliness, um, you know, the, the separation that I've been feeling from you. The material couldn't replace that. Partying couldn't replace that. Drinking, whatever they were doing. People, you know. Nobody could replace that. Because there's no one like you. And they are going to tell you this truth. So I hope that this reading has resonated. I hope that it helped you in some way. If it did, please do let me know. Like I said, only take it as it resonates. Leave, it, leave the ones that doesn't. I want to do more of these collective readings. And I'm basically just going to let spirit, you know, guide the way. So thank you so much for being here, my returning subscribers, the beautiful royal family. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Again, if you're seeing the channel for the first time, please do stick around if you're called to do so. That would mean so much to me. I'm sending you all so much love, light and blessings. A magical day or night wherever you are. Namaste.